Hi, Ben Wixey for Germinal for G-Talk here. Beautiful uh, summer's day in Cornwall. Just wanted to show you uh, some white clover and perennial grasses, how to uh, identify particularly the perennial ryegrass. So um, just trying to dig down here and uh, pull up the white clover plant. So there's, there's your white clover plant. You see obviously the white flower, different shades of pink you sometimes get on those as well. And then the stolon running along the top of the ground and you can see the different rooting points as it moves through the sward. We're also there, look, yeah, a bit of nodulation. This is a young plant, but you can see there the nodules, the white nodules that are fixing nitrogen. Um, they will individually die and release nitrogen back to the ground and new ones will form. It's a continual process. So that's, that's the white clover plant. Then if we take something like a, a perennial ryegrass plant, I can't pull it up because the roots are so strong, and there you'll see a um, purpling of the leaves. There you are, there's a, there's a good example of the purple colour. So if the plant is in an ear, you can't identify it from the ear, then you can look at the plant and see the purple colour, and that identifies a perennial plant. Also the shiny leaf. If you pan round and look down the field, you'll see as the sun reflects on it, uh, a shiny leaf to it and here's here's some perennial ryegrass plants in here and this one started to flower the, the reproductive parts coming out to collect the pollen so it's Ben Wixey for G Talk for more information on this and other other topics go to gsource.org thank you very much